traffic. It is the bane of every Toronto driver's existence, and that includes traffic lights. Now, of course, nobody expects it to never have to stop at a red, but many drivers complain that the way the lights are timed in this city does little to improve traffic flow or ease congestion. And nobody knows that better than Toronto cabbies. That is a problem. That is a problem. It's not sequenced. You know, you just hit a green one and the next one is uh, says yellow and, and red. So that's very frustrating. They drive for a living, so experience more than anyone the annoyance of sitting through a red at one intersection only to get to the next just as it turns red and then again at the next. It can be really frustrating. The lights in the city of Toronto, they are not properly synchronized. I think they should learn the lesson from the city of uh, New York. They have more traffic, they have more pedestrian, they have more volume uh, in every way and shape, shape and form, but they are much organized, whereas Toronto is far behind. Manhattan is famous for its blocks and blocks of green lights, allowing drivers to sail right through. We're a long way from that in Toronto, which according to Public Works Chair Jay Robinson, is one of the most congested cities in the world. Do you get a lot of complaints about that sort of thing? Every single day. <laughs> Every single day I hear from residents about congestion and gridlock. People are fed up. But Toronto is in the midst of a pilot project, right now involving 10 intersections on Young Street north of Eglinton and will soon include another 12 on Shepherd. The two streets will use two different smart signal systems and then be evaluated to see which one works best. Both use leading edge technology. The Young Street system includes the use of thermal cameras to adjust the timing of the lights according to real time traffic conditions, as opposed to the fixed times at the city's 2400 other traffic lights that will change only at peak times and off peak times. And it's working beautifully. It's real time. It's the first time Toronto has used this technology. It's very exciting and we hope to roll it out across the city just to keep things flowing. We're piloting it, it's going very well, um, but we want to make sure we're using the best technology and uh, that takes a lot of research, just not locally, but uh, what are people doing around cities around the world. The city says it did extensive traffic monitoring leading up to the pilot and continue to watch improvements, but because the project only rolled out at the end of May, they haven't yet been able to evaluate its effectiveness. But they're hoping for at least a 5% improvement, which may not sound like much, but when it's calculated over tens of thousands of cars, it adds up. Now, Jay Robinson admits that the new technology is expensive with a price tag of $110,000 to $150,000 per intersection, which means if the entire city were outfitted with smart signals, it would cost about $300 million. But Robinson says that congestion costs the city $11 billion a year in productivity. So if the technology really works, it'll be more than a worthwhile investment.